it's like on saturday the 16th let me take this off so you can actually hear me right saturday 16th of march first saturday of ramadan you should be day five or day six depending on when you started ramadan but first ride in ramadan on the heavy bike with yasin we're just going to go down the greenway fully loaded bike not sure if that was wise i was going to go on the light bike but let's see uh, hopefully trying to bag about 20 miles today first ride in ramadan not going to have any training time after ramadan so either i keep up my fitness or i suffer in that first week because two or three days after fasting finishes straight off to tunisia hopefully you should be able to see my cap just had these done as well i think it says something around solo for often so i'm doing the solo bike ride might take me up to a month about 1200 kilometers around tunisia on this bike here uh, fully loaded with panniers tent kit clothing sleeping where i can wherever i can get accommodation nothing booked yeah anyway so let's see how today gets on Yeah. You just that liversage? Yes, sir. Have you brought your electrolytes? No, I've forgotten everything. He's forgotten I'm his there. electrolytes, he's forgotten his there. bottle. I think I've got a few. Are we stopping for a cafe break? Uh, we can stop and have a look. My treat, you can have whatever you want today. Okay, imaginary food, yeah? <laughs> liversage, sun's come out, beautiful. Still very cold though. So here it is, end of the greenway, me and Yasin, lovely day, mashallah. Yasin, what do you think, Ramzan cycling? Mashallah, can't, can't, can't be better, this is brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Ramzan, any 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 slower or... Yeah, I think we get out anyway, don't we? We get out for Ramzan anyway. We do get out for Ramzan, just casual riding now during Ramzan, obviously we're not fueling. There's no water, no electrolytes, so we're just doing that casual riding. Look at Molly's setup though, he's carrying about 35 kgs there, and himself. And I won't tell you how many kgs that is. But Alhamdulillah out, took a lot of energy to get out because it, it was nice and warm and I was told that it was going to be very very cold but yeah get out Ramzan, during Ramzan if you can then definitely get out we're not saying go kill yourself, go for a PR or something but if you can keep those legs spinning because the last thing you want to do is lose all of those gains and especially for me because within two days of Ramzan finishing within a couple of days of uh, Eid I'm going to be flying out to Tunisia on that thing there so I won't bore you with the details of it, I think you've seen it enough times but if you can then please donate, I'll put the link somewhere on the thing as well so it's going to be, uh, my cap should say, it's a solo for orphans so we have, uh, along with Yasin and all the peddlers guys we have an orphanage in Lebanon called Embrace 33 kids there, supporting that orphanage and the World Care Foundation orphans project in general as well so if you can, please donate there have been a massive um, surge towards supporting other causes and quite rightly so as well which has meant that the funding for orphanages has really gone down so if you can please support and uh, somewhere i'll also put my uh, my socials um and it's generally it's at irfan psychologist across all social media platforms if you can help support amplify and share inshallah it should be very useful as well so we're going to head off inshallah from now towards hearts head do some climbing astonish hill hearts head murfield and then maybe head back so I come so Astonish Hill, which most will know, differs between 5% and as it is at the moment, about 7 or 8%. I think the best it gets to is about 9 It's a bit of a challenge and a warm-up at the best of times on a super light bike. But when you're fasting and you're on a heavy touring bike with all your panniers bit of a challenge I don't know how he's doing it I don't know how he's doing it on that bike I really don't I've got the loads I've got loads of gearing luckily I've seen so I am using it and I've not got a conventional compact front chain ring either it's a CX ring so it does give me a greater ratio of gears but feel it you do feel it but it's either that or i can spend a month making excuses about it being ramzan and then not having the legs when it actually goes when it actually is time to do the longer mileage in tunisia 
so hopefully it should stand us in good stead right we're nearly at the top not much climbing after this there's Ruli Lane which is a steady three four degrees percent sorry so you don't really feel much and then it's a a very long descent which the heavy bike actually helps with because sends you down real quick and it sticks right cut this off here so whilst we're on a little bit of a quiet stretch of road back to the subject of Ramadan and riding no reason you shouldn't be doing it to be honest you should try and keep up any form of training that you're doing so whether it's running riding whatever it is you do i don't think it's healthy to be stopping all of a sudden equally to keep up the same level of effort pre-ramadan pre-fasting and during fasting probably not sensible either so as long as you're sensible listening to your body i don't think there's any issues there whatsoever get plenty of hydration before you start your fast after you finish your fast get your electrolytes back in listen to your body make sure that you bring those effort levels down if you've got a HRM or if you've got a smartwatch wear one of them and uh, keep an eye on your heart rate but really no reason why you can't keep up your training during Ramadan it'd be a shame to miss a whole month's training just because you're fasting Yo, yeah. you seen any thoughts? absolutely totally agree with you Take it at your own pace, listen to yourself, listen to your body. It's not too hot today, we've no, chosen not. a good day, we've got it's not too cold, not too hot. It's just nice weather. I think we've come out earlier than we normally do. I think yeah. what normally suits people is if they go out four o'clock-ish, yeah. get an hour and a half in. That way they're not waiting too long before opening of the fast. And then um, they can get their nutrition on board. But I'm quite used to fasted rides. I do them throughout the year as well as a training tool so I kind of know how my body responds to not getting any carbs and then having to drop back onto a secondary source of fuel which probably is a state that a lot of people try and get themselves into intentionally mine I kind of drop into ketosis almost by by mistake but quite often happens in Ramzan actually um, not for everyone not always healthy listen to your body if it doesn't work for you don't don't persist but yeah um, definitely carry on with the rides to Ramzan. take them a little steadier but carry on right I'm gonna sort this mount out because it's all over the show I'm back in a bit I like testing myself on this little hill just uh, in scrolls it's uh, short enough just to get out the saddle stay in the big ring and have a burst up there not going to do that today not on the heavy bike but usually when I'm on the road bike just stay in the big ring hard gears and just push up but I always use this as a marker it usually tells me where I am with my fitness Just gives you a nice little workout, raises the heart rate. Long dragging descent, absolutely beautiful. Especially after that little climb on an astonished hill and Ruli Lane. Really appreciate this little downhill before this little small little kicks to Hart's head. Let's see if I can turn this around. Really, really glad to be out today. I'm so glad you seen put that message on. Like I say, you can get lazy and very quickly lose the gains. And in a normal year, I wouldn't be that bothered. I'd probably have enough time to recover for all the charity rides. But this year, literally three days after Reed, after Ramzan, I'm off. Not going to be no time to catch up on the training. So very, very grateful for the weather and the, uh, the little ride out today right, let's turn you around and then uh, we'll have a look at some of the short climbs Windy Bank with views all the way to Huddersfield you've got Castle Hill there Huddersfield Town Stadium down there 
beautiful views and the reason it's called Windy Bank just pan slightly right look at them views headed into Ravensthorpe now nearing the end of a decent ride we're at 17 and a half miles I think we might do 20 by the time we're done but yeah decent Ramadan ride not bad hasn't been anywhere near threshold I don't think either of us have been at all concerned not done too much elevation mind I think by the time we're done it'll be about 900 to a thousand feet so not bad not bad for a first Ramadan ride definitely got the legs for more but then don't want to overdo it hopefully get out on a ride tomorrow if I can who are you seeing? Thoughts on today? It's been a really good ride. It's been windy but it's been nice and warm. Not too cold, not too warm. It's my second ride during uh, Ramadan. So yeah, all good alhamdulillah. Don't want to push too much. And maybe they'll get another ride in tomorrow inshallah. Nice. So yeah, it's been a good day. Last push now, last two, three miles to get home. Nice easy miles. Yeah. last two three easy miles and we're home right end of the first Ramzan ride here the Yasin went well I think 20 miles I think by the time Yasin gets yeah. home we'll probably go back 20 40 yeah no 21 22 21 22 nice one that's it any thoughts no it's been a good ride alhamdulillah my second ride for Ramzan um my first one with Molly let's keep going let's keep getting those miles in and hopefully both of us will get out tomorrow as well Inshallah. and we won't feel it this evening I've not felt it at all, not felt beyond threshold at all it's felt like a very very casual ride so hopefully the legs will still be okay this evening hopefully we won't feel it Inshallah. right, first Ramzan ride, done so that's the end of the first Ramzan ride I've just said salam to Yasin, he's gone off um, nice and steady actually, about an hour and a half, two hours, 20 miles about a thousand feet of elevation just under about a thousand calories and touch wood and I don't want to get ahead of myself but um, not feeling at all like it's riding in Ramadan despite the fact that I'm on my um, camping bike with all the panniers and everything which I've overloaded actually I'm running them at about 35 kg while I'm training so that when I'm back down to my normal um, riding weight which is probably going to be about 28 29 kg um, I won't feel it as much and also um, there's not going to be as much elevation there as there is um, here there's going to be certain days when all the elevation will be packed in when I'm around the bits of the atlas um, in Tunisia in the north but yeah um, thoughts are I have not felt at all that I needed to drink um, legs feel very fresh again like I said I don't want to get ahead of myself but um, if I was to say how many miles have I got in them I'd say comfortably another 20 miles maybe another 30 miles if I was going to push nowhere near threshold done some elevation raised the heart rate a little bit not felt hungry at all so my last meal was 10 hours ago um, for Sehri was it just over maybe um, and didn't overfuel so it's remarkable actually once you get out just how much you are capable of but yeah um, definitely keep up the training uh, if you're considering getting out in Ramadan then uh, get out it is very good um, doesn't suit everybody fasted rides if it doesn't suit you um, take it steady um, take it incrementally so try your 10 miles increase it to 15 increase it to 20 try and stay local before you commit to anything very long and you should be okay and I think if you're on just a normal bike yeah, you should be okay anyway provided your fitness levels are quite high anyway what you don't want to do is start making resolutions within Ramadan um, not having done any kind of mileage before and then say well I'm going to do 20-30 miles in Ramadan cycling and I'm going to lose a whole load of weight it doesn't work that way you have got to condition your body to try and get used to riding unfueled but yeah brilliant to summarise um, feel really good and uh, I'll try and get out again tomorrow
just some thoughts on my general fitness this year actually um, around February March going into April is usually the depth of my fitness it's usually the worst state of my fitness so you usually come out of winter having had a lot of comforting winter food having not been out on the bike the weather's atrocious you don't feel like going out this year I've been quite fortunate so we went out in November to Tunisia we had quite a bit of riding to do so both in preparation of that and whilst we were out there we did quite a bit of riding came back did quite a bit of riding whilst I was in February I went out there again and despite the fact that I wasn't planning on doing any cycling ended up doing quite a bit of cycling so I suppose little bits and keeping up little bits has kept up my fitness but I would probably suggest if I was to um, gauge where I am um, on the fitness thing I would probably say it's probably the fittest I've ever been this time of year in about five years um, of cycling this is usually the time of year when I just let go of diet all of that goes out the window have a whole load of comfort food put on a whole load of weight don't do any exercise don't do any running um, and then obviously it's Ramadan as well and whilst most people would think well Ramadan you're fasting you lose weight no actually there's a whole load of feasting going on as well um, and you try and cram in your meals at unsociable hours you're going to sleep after just having had a meal not very healthy and it means that your body kind of gets into the habit of storing up the energy that you do give it when you give it because there's large periods of time when you don't give it anything so that when it does get something just stores it all up and then you also tend to go to bed or have a lie down after having eaten so yeah um quite feeling quite strong this year actually and i don't want to jinx anything but feeling strong for this Ramadan I just want to be very steady with my training keep it consistent rather than hard because I've only got four weeks and I don't want to incur any kind of injuries I don't want to get injured and ruin this thing that I've been planning now for almost um, six months so yeah my training through Ramadan is just going to be steady and consistent nowhere near threshold just below threshold just keeping the legs spinning just maintaining the uh, the fitness levels right signing off on this one it's about one o'clock i'm gonna go for zahar and then we've got some preparation to do for tomorrow's uh, muslim scout federation iftar which should be interesting as well i'm sure there'll be plenty of calories burnt on that one usually spend most of the day on my feet on events like this so yeah that should be a good one oh. and again talking to the camera prevented me to make a decent gear change in time and now i'm just grinding a bigger gear than i should but yeah sign off on this one been a great first ramzan ride assalamu alaikum see you on the next one mm -hmm.